Hey, good morning and welcome back as to our devotional time right here in the book of Philippians. We're in Philippians chapter 2, this morning, verses 17 and 18. We'll read it, then we'll think about it together, then we'll pray. Here it is. Yes, and if I am being poured out as a drink offering on the sacrifice and service of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with you all. For the same reason, you also be glad and rejoice with me. So notice Paul is saying he's doing the work of the gospel. He's, he's at it. He's working on it. Yes, I am being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service of your faith. He says that his work is, is like an offering being poured out. And over there in the book of Romans, the verse, first two verses of chapter 12, doesn't it say, doesn't it say that our, we should offer our lives to him as, as a living sacrifice? We think of dead sacrifices, but the Christian uh, offers a living sacrifice, and so as we serve him day by day, we are, we are in process of offering that living sacrifice. It's a sacrifice of Jesus that saves us, not our sacrifice. But we nevertheless give our lives in sacrifice to the king, and he'll take care of the rest. But we'll see souls in the kingdom because of it, God willing. So he says, I'm being poured out in service of your faith. That's good. He says, I'm glad and rejoice with you all. Yes, it's it's challenging to do to do the work of the kingdom sometimes, but he says, I know it's challenging, and I rejoice anyway. So when we feel beaten down or, or uh, desperate because it just seems like things aren't going right in our congregation, you know what? Stand up straight, pray to the Lord, trust in Him, and go forward as He leads you. And you know what? He'll get us on through. And we'll see fruit for that, for the kingdom. Don't throw up your hands and say, oh, I can't tell what's happening. I'm going to go in the corner and weep. Don't do that. Just take a deep breath, regroup, and come back and do do service to Jesus again. And so he says, for the same reason, you also be glad and rejoice with me. He's, he's encouraging the Philippians, let's all continue to serve the king, right? You right there in Philippi, me, you know, where he's in prison right now in this time that he's writing this. So wherever you are today, serve the Lord Jesus where you are. And we can be glad and rejoice and, and do the things of the gospel. God will take care of the rest. So let's be active. And that's how this church came from zero, zero, nothing, and became this mighty church of Philippi. Let's pray that for the church wherever you are and wherever I am. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help the church to be strong and healthy. There's so many challenges, so many difficult pieces, Lord. You know all about it more than we do. Lord, I want to pray not only for my church is where I am today, but I also in this moment want to pray uh, with the people who are watching for their church, their congregation, that you will build them up and their congregation, that you will do working for the kingdom through them and that they will rejoice and be glad. And so, Lord, strengthen your servants, help us to regroup and to stand up and go for it again and work even though there are many things arrayed against us in these days. This is a glorious time to live, Lord. We pray that we will see things that many righteous men and prophets wanted to see but didn't see. May our eyes see them in this our day. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Sometimes we think if we lived in the time of Jesus, that would have been the best. Friend, God put you and I here into this world. He injected us in, into creation. He made us exist at this time. This is our time. This is our opportunity. So share some of the good news with someone today and be a Christian to them so that they can find out about their Heavenly Father. God be with you.